Hello, everyone. Thanks for your coming today. My name is Dennis on behalf of Metro Products. Today, I would like to share my experience in uh, hardware development uh, for startups and crowdfunding team. Today's topic including three major areas, including product development, design, and manufacturing. I will share my experience in hardware development. Uh, some content the hardware staff must know before they kicking off their projects. I cannot guarantee the content I share today will make your project success, but I'm pretty sure they will greatly help you stay away from the dangerous zone. Although hardware is hard, but there still exists some uh, guidelines to follow. Uh, I will share uh, some of my experience later. I have an industrial design background uh, with more than 30 years working experience in, for company. Uh, at that time, I worked uh, as a product management, product manager, designer, and I also I work for uh, prototy prototyping department and the tooling department. So after that, I collect all of the information and my resource. I come up with a total solution for customers. Uh, the next page, I will show you some uh, the video about my company. Please take a look. First, the section I would like to share is about project management. The first part is how we develop process. I have been working with a uh, startup company and, uh, and the crowdfunding team for many years. But actually, to be honest, I never met any team with the knowledge to handle the whole the hardware project. Actually, there are three steps to follow. Here you can see from concept and all the way to MP. A concept is a unique or amazing idea in your, in your mind. You dream to uh, save or change the whole world. And for the second is POC, means proof of concept. Or how we start should roll your sleeve up to make your idea into a tangible form, allowing everyone to feel and touch how it looks like and what it can do for users. The purpose of proof of concept is to prove if your idea is workable or with the potential of commercial value. EBT means engineering verification and test. 
in this stage, industrial design, mechanical design, double E will help you to make your idea more user friendly, like uh, easy to use and user usability or production ready for engineering point of view. And next, sorry. And the next is for the design verification and test, we call DVT. In this stage, keep function improve and the debug on mechanical, double E, and even software. In this stage, variety of testing and including certification will be applied, including CE, FCC, EMI, EMC, ESD, etc. All for the purpose of product quality assurance. And for the next is PVT, means production verification and test. At this stage, now your project is one step closer to production. Tooling and the manufacturing jig will be ready to produce small batch sample for pattern. Those sample will be arranged for series of testing, including reliability test, drop test, vibration, or even thermal shock, etc. All parts produced by the manufacturer will be delivered to EMS, we call Electronic Manufacturing Service Factory. We'll take charge of all final assembly tests and the packing. Sometimes we call FATP. And to the MP, we call mass production. Once all of the quality issue and the manufacturing process are well settled, it's the time to run a bigger quantity order. So far, the goods should be quality enough and ready to ship out on any, to any corner on planet. And this I would like to share is about how a development takes time. It might take you around 10 to 12 months to complete how a project from kickoff and all the way to shipping. Especially the product involves hardware, software, app, or even cloud computing. Especially those products involve hardware. Your new product won't be able to launch less soon because it's not that easy. It's not an easy job. A lot of conflict is waiting for you ahead. Here you can see it takes average more than a month between different stages. Don't forget, the hardware must go through a lot of certification like CE, FCC, EMC, EMI, and ESD, especially for those devices with wireless connection, like IoT devices. Please keep in mind, a hardware product will be launched at least 10 months after your project kickoff. If everything goes smoothly without delay, and sometimes including your team member could fighting together, fighting each other, they also delay your project. This is a trap. Don't touch me too product. When I work for a private company as product manager, I need to arrange a business trip to meet with my distributor to collect marketing information and the new product plan for new product planning. Sometimes they show me some uh, hot sale, in, hot, uh, sorry. Sometimes they show me hot sales item in their region. Soon I initial a project to respond to their requirements in their market. But it's a trap. Why? Because once I saw a hit item in a store, they also meaning the product is dumping at a low price or prepare to face out and don't forget our new product proposal still stay on paperwork stage. 
it's a lazy way for a product manager to copy the specification from hard sales item and develop a similar one. Our new product will be launched 10 months after project start. The result, my company will get a dead product. The spec already out of date, and also the price is also high compared with uh, the competitor I focused 10 months ago. So the conclusion is, if you are a manager or you are a leader of your product, please don't make a Me Too product because it is quite dangerous. Might kill you and your company. Just as uh, Alan mentioned, why shipping delay for hardware crowdfunding? According to my experience, there are three major reasons. Congratulations, more and more startups earned their first angel fund from crowdfunding campaign. We also noticed that a lot of media reviews discussing the end result seems not happy as expected. In the category of design and technology, with more than 80% the shipping for Baker is delayed. Although shipping delay with different kinds of reasons behind. But we conclude the following common mistakes among those hardware projects. The first one, they do not do proof of concept before crowdfunding campaign. Some staffs begin their R&D just after, right after the crowdfunding is done. They shoot an amazing video in the campaign, but the prototype in the movie is fake. They don't have any idea how to build their product and deliver, deliver them to, to uh, anywhere on time. The amazing function in video is over commitment compared with final deliver. The second one is they underestimated the cost. They never make a cost estimation for their product before launching their crowdfunding campaign. The money they crowdfunded may be not enough for their tooling payment. And even for the unit cost, it's all higher than they expected in the origin. The third one is they underestimate the project schedule. Because they don't have any experience about how to manage hardware development process. So they never heard what is EVT, DVT, POC. They never heard about it. So it's very risky and might potentially hurt your brand image and the reputation once your commitment is failed. You could consult and you should consult someone is professional in hardware development before you launch your crowdfunding campaign. But how about after crowdfunded? Staffs cannot initial a project only for crowdfunding backers because it's another trap. Once you get success in campaign, two things are very important you should, you should do. The first one is you should get more funding from venture capital. That will make you to have enough weapon or energy to go to next level of your business. You need more money because you need to start to develop a new generation product for yourself. Also, you need product marketing and you, you need to take a lot of money on it. And more important, at this stage, you need to hire more excellent people or partner to work with you. So you need money. So for the money you crowdfunded, it's far not enough for your application. The second is sales more of your products. Only 500 or 1,000 bakers in crowdfunding cannot make your company grow. You should consider put your product in online store, just like uh, Amazon, to create more sales volume. Crowdfunding success is the beginning 
not the ending of your startup business. In this page, I would like to share a key word. If you have a mobile phone or notebook in hand, please key in the following keyword, Dyson 5127. James Dyson is a legend in hardware development. All startups should learn from him. From 1987 to 1992, he spent more than 5,000 prototypes in five years to come up with an innovative ever turbo cleaner in their market. He failed again and again, but never gave up until success. I just checked the number. 2014, his sales volume, uh, sales quantity of more than 10 billion US dollars. Just only a vacuum cleaner. And I would like to share the experience about design iteration. Design iteration is a series of product development process repeatedly, from design, test, debug, redesign, and test again. If you check the book, Google Spring, they also are talking about the same thing. You cannot expect to get the optimized design results in the first time. Anyhow, startup is a journey to explore the territory you have never experienced before. So good luck to you. Please try again and again. And for the advantage of choosing Taiwan as partner, a lot of hardware staff go to China and look for manufacturer manufacturing partner, but you have a better choice, Taiwan. Because there are at least with three advantages you should consider. The first one is IP protection. Taiwan is a global OEM, ODM base for years. We pretty understanding the importance of IP protection to customers. We always follow the terms of NDA to cooperate with customer projects. The attitude make global staffs are happy to stay with us to make their dreams come true together. And for the second, product quality guarantee. The quality of products made in Taiwan is well known and recognized by worldwide market today. Local supply chain is friendly and happy to work with you and willing to share their knowledge and experience to help a startup's project success. Flexibility, speedy response is the advantage of, collaborate, of collaborating with supply chain in Taiwan. The third one is quality R&D support. According to my understanding, all startups need technical support, especially in double area or software area. Here you can find a lot of uh, key component vendor here. They all of them with, uh, equipped with uh, R&D support team. So you can easily to find them and get answer or support from them. Even you need a very small volume sample or need some kind of testing jig or tool, you can get the one from them. They are very willing to work with you. Especially in IT area, Taiwan is very competitive role in this area. Section two, product design. I will use two case study to share how a product was designed. The first one, uh, in the first case study, I was requested to help my customer to develop a projector for kids. You can see a sample there. Later, I will show you how it works. The first step is design thinking or brainstorming. In this stage, we were uh, collect a lot of uh, role joined to the meeting, including designer or engineer, 
salespeople, or even we invite some parents and the kids join to the meeting because this is a device, a LED projector for kids. In the meeting, the project leader should define what is necessary for kids. And in a scenario of, of application, you should arrange a focus group to talk to their parents and kids, the potential buyer or users of your product. This is what you should do at this stage. And when the project, project manager collects all the information, information and spec for designer, in this stage, designers start to use their talent and the tools to develop a variety of possibility according to MRS, we call marketing requirement spec for the product manager to, from the product manager defined. So this is one of the sketch our designer developed. It looks like a dog on the ground. And the designer will use all kinds of tools including ruler, marker, and the pencil or chalk to develop their ideas. In this stage, design, designers start to use their talent and the tools to do it. And when the sketch, design sketch is picked, the designer will start to use their skill, including using 3D CAD data, software, something like ProE, SolidWork, ADS, or Rhino, using such kind of uh, 3D CAD software to build the dimensional model. It enables you to image how it looks like and uh, measure what size the product might be in the future. And in this stage, the designer will using another kind of software for rendering preparing CMF document for visualizing the color, material, and finish. This is for the purpose of making dummy or functional type in next stage. After that, after the ID is knocked down, mechanical engineer always concerns about how the new product will be produced or manufactured in a more cost cost-effective way, or if the strength is robust enough to pass the dropping test from, from the height of 1.5 meter. Here you can see we process the prototyping. The prototype could be made by CNC machining. After fine-tuning and the painting, it will look like a real product that is mass production. Once we put the PCBA inside in the closure, in the enclosure, then we can make a full function test for the product. From the picture here, you can see the far left one is uh, before painting. Sometimes we call body in white. In, at that stage, we can test many kind of testing, including we, if we put the PCBA inside, we can check if there exists any interference. After that, we can make painting. And also, we can put the PCBA inside. Painting and even silk printing. When the prototype is done and all the mechanism and the bugs are found and removed, we can go to hard tooling. A hard tooling is for mass production purpose. It allows you to produce more than 50,000 piece. Of course, it's by plastic injection for bigger volume order. Hard, hard tooling needs longer lead time to build up. Normally, it takes around 45 days for IoT device. Of course, it depends on how complicated your project is. And this is a plastic injection. You can pick any color from Pantone color chips for your product. There are a lot of options on racing, 
like ABS, PCABS, PMMA, etc. And selecting the service reflectedness, like glossy, flat, or matte, or could be applied by following the CMF document. To the final stage, assembly. You have almost everything in hand now. All parts, including plastics, PCB assembly, and the package will be delivered to EMS factory for final assembly. The production engineer department in EMS factory will issue SOP, means standard operating procedure document, providing the assembling guide, guideline for operators to follow in their own working station step by step. And this is mission complete. This is the final goods. This device uses only 20 lux LED. So you have to turn off your light inside the room. So if you turn, turn on the light, maybe the image is not so clear because only 20 lux. For the uh, professional or office use, it's more than 3,000 lux. It's quite different. So this is low end type. The second, uh, the second case study is for iPad projector. Uh, this project also comes from same customer. At that time when the iPad just introduced to the market, at that time my customer, they just thinking, is that possible to build a module or build an extra device connected with the iPad? and turn, in, turn this uh, iPad into a projector. This is the original concept. So for the, this uh, first image, this is a scenario. Before we go industrial design, we make so many kind of scenario. This is scenario one. Just like uh, a sales manager, Dennis, he preparing all the stuffs for meeting with customer. He, he, because he need to take a lot of stuff with him including his notebook, iPad, accessory, everything. So this is scenario. After that, product design must be as light and slim as possible for salesmen. So this is another scenario. We just simulate when the salesman, he meet with his customer, what he looks like in a scenario. And this is scenario three. This is, a, today is a three person meeting. The iPad projector is, must be very handy. In this, in this image you can see, when I sitting in front of my customer, the iPad just put it in front of me. So that mean the head of the projector must be with the function to turn vertical. So this is the key function. The, Project manager must be write it down. The projector of the lens must be turned to right or turned to left when the salesman is using it. So this is key word. Must be designed in, in design stage. And this is uh, scenario four. Scenario four means uh, just like the image I show you, this is a three person uh, meeting. But uh, it could be, it could be happen. Maybe the boss of the company just pass the, just pass the uh, meeting room. He said, okay, Dennis, today you show, show us a lot of interesting things. But I would like to invite more people join in the big room. So in, the, in that case, the scenario is changed. So we have to shift everything to the bigger room. And uh, the iPad must be connected. With the, with the ability to connect with the office projector. So this is another key word. The project manager must understand the head of the projector must be turn left and turn right. Also, this device could be connected with office, office projector. This is another key word. So the project manager must write it down and pass off the design requirement to the design department. So for this stage, design sketch is started. 
the designer will collect all of the meeting records or specification from project de department. So the designer could follow the design requirement and start to the sketch and the developing the enclosure. So this is one of the sketch. The designer start to developing all kinds of uh, possibility to develop the, the iPad projector. This is sketch. After that, the designer start to building the CAD model by using three CAD data, uh, three CAD software like a Rhino or SolidWork. After that, when the 3D modeling is, is set, we can using the rendering software to make the material just looks like real. And also considering all kinds of design requirements, we can put a lot of accessory inside the body. So far, the image you see still uh, computer work. And this is proposal one. We developed so many kinds of design. This is proposal one. And this is proposal two. This is how a design project was, pro was processed. The session three is about the product manufacturing. Here you can see my company work with a very famous design school, art center, in, located in Los Angeles. At that time, they gave me an assignment. We have to uh, build the working prototype for them. The left, the left drawing is offered by art center college of design. They give me that drawing, and I have to build a final working prototype like this. Actually, this is a design competition. The target of the design competition is uh, to build a personal mobility. Means you have to design a, a gear or a device that is for personal mobility. So this is one of the design. Actually, this is a suitcase. But for some scenario, like uh, Hong Kong airport or Singapore airport, the airport is quite large. When you would like to move in from point A to point B, it's, it takes quite a lot of time. So once, when you are your plane ready to take off, you must use your a suitcase, and you just need a push, very simple push, and then the suitcase will turn into a three-wheel scooter. This is the original idea. And when you ready to communicate with prototype company, you should prepare some materials for yourself. As I mentioned, the key, the key point that you would like to talk to a prototyping company, there are three things that are very important. CMF. C means color. You can use the Pantone color chip to assign any color you want. The second is M. M means material. That means uh, in your drawing, you have to uh, describe very clear what is your material you would like to apply. For example, you maybe you want this part used by aluminum, or use ABS, or use uh, transparent ac acrylic you have to tell your vendor what is that. So you, you have to use all kinds of uh, guidebook to follow. And the third one is CMF. The final one is finish. Finish means how the service will look like. Uh, we have three kind of label. It's very common to use. The first one is glossy and uh, matte and uh, flat. Such kind of uh, different kind of label represent different kind of uh, reflectiveness. Otherwise, the factory don't understand what you want. And for next stage, you uh, in your project process, you might need a small batch samples. There are three kinds of way to prepare it. The first one, of course, everybody understanding is a CNC milled. You can. Uh, requested your the factory to do it. Small patch 
samples with different labels in requirement or purpose. Along with the project is going, it could be made by CNC or soft tooling. In the early stage of your project, you might need one or two sets for function test or for pitch or for meeting with VC for short video or for short video sh or for short video for crowdfunding. An easy way is a CNC mate for one or two sets. Or you should consider using soft tooling or, or say, uh, silicone mode to produce more than, more if you are more than one. If you need uh, more than 20 sets, you can consider to use silicone tooling or soft tooling. Prototype made by soft tooling is more cost effective comparing with CNC mate, but quality also lower than CNC mate. 25 sets is the limitation for the cycle of soft tooling mode. Once your project goes to production, pilot run is the right timing to prepare, to prepare the samples with the quality of production ready. Pilot run samples are made by hard tooling. Any quantity, you can have it. And for the manufacturing and the tooling management, there are five key words you must know before you talk to your tooling partner. First one is cavity. Cavity, you can assign uh, one cavity in one mode, or you can assign multi-cavity in mode, or we call it uh, family mode, means you can put part A, part B, part C joined together in one mode. I prepare some samples there, so there uh, you can see what is one cavity, what is multi-cavity, and what is for family mode. And for finish, I just, I just remind everybody, there are three levels, including grossy, flat, and matte, you can assign. And for racing material, uh, as mentioned, there, there are lots of options, including ABS, PC ABS, PC, or even soft, soft material we call TPR or TPU. You can use it. And for the gate, it's very hard to explain. Maybe later, uh, everybody can come to me. I will show you what is gate. You, you have, a, you have a kinds of option according to your requirement. Sometimes you need a very small gate. We call pinpoint gate, but it's uh, more, ex more expensive than direct gate. And also for the more material, you have many kinds of option, including uh, P20 is very common to see, or NAK80, or uh, Starbucks 420. Uh, this kind is a stainless material. They will make sure your service will highly polish, like, just like a mirror, but the most also expensive than others. Well, here you can see single cavity, multi cavity, family mode, family mode grossy, flat, and matte for finish. And for raising material, you can choose ABS or PC ABS or PMMA. Such kind of material uh, for everyone with his own, uh, how to say, spec. So you have to define what kind of material you have to use in advance. You cannot, you cannot change the spec in the middle because the shrink, the shrink rate is quite different. Once you already assign, you cannot change it. And for the gate, we have a direct gate, indirect gate or pinpoint. And the more material, we have P20, NACA 80, or Starbucks 420. And this is the example. The single cavity means in one mode in your, in your, uh, in one cavity in your mode. Once the mode is open, you just only you just only, only look at only one cavity in your mode. And also you can consider multi-cavity. Once your sales production is raised, you need more cavity for production e efficiency. For example, if you have uh, only a single cavity in, in one mode, that means 
uh, in one day's uh, in one day's production, maybe eight hours or ten hours, you can produce only five hundred or one thousand because you have only one cavity. Once you have more uh, quantity demand, you can consider multi cavity. Here you can see a lot of same parts put in one mode, so we can call it a multi cavity. If you have more sales quantity demand, you can consider multi cavity. And what is a family mode? Family mode means in the beginning you don't have a very big market demand. You can consider put all of the parts in in one mode, only in one mode. You can put different kinds of parts together, just like a family. It's more cheap to consider compared to a multi cavity, and also cost effective and more efficiency. Once the mode is open. You can get four or five parts at one, in one uh, cycle, molding cycle. And this page is for inspection criteria. Actually, uh, inspection criteria is quite a professional. I want to. Uh, I don't want to uh, exp express too deep because I don't know either. So here, you, because here you can see there are three levels, very basic level, MI, MA, or CR. MI means a uh, very minor defect, just like a uh, typing error. Good quality. So this is very minor. Your product still can use, but the description on user menu is is fake, is failed because something, uh, some area is is mistake. All color with discrepancy. All these kind of defects, we call the minor defects. But for the second, major defect means scratch on product service, just like that. If you get a new car for yourself, and the first day you, you see a scratch line on your product, I don't think you will accept it. So this is a major defect. Or some kind of a very special situation. This year, I got one table from uh, IKEA. The table with three legs. And of course, I need four screws. But actually, when I take the package to my home and I assembly the, as, assembly the, the table, finally I found that I only got three screws. So finally, the, the, final, the final leg cannot be assembled. So this such kind of a situation we call the major defect because the product cannot be used. So this is kind of the situation of major defect or such kind of a very serious defect on service. Means that your customer will complain to you about your product situation. But for this kind, I, I don't think most of the customer will complain or refund. I don't think so. But for this one, I think if your product exists, major defect, I think you will be very busy because your, your online store or the tangible store will call you every day because of your product with such kind of a major defect. And what is the critical defect? Critical defect means my passport injured the user. Like this, your customer will suit you. This is, I, I believe this is Samsung mobile phone. So please, your product never happen about critical defect. That will kill you and your company. And this is a very uh, useful method about inspection method. A lot of uh, staffs or crowdfunding team come to me. They discuss with me about quality level. Sometimes they show me like that. Dennis, please see it. Uh, there exists some scratch. Can you see it? And please remove the scratch for me. But this is wrong. Why? Here you can see. When an uh, inspector check the quality, you cannot see it like this, like this distance. We have uh, international regulation. You have to check 
your object in a certain distance from a 45 centimeter. 45 centimeter is very common in the industry. And I check the, the data from Sony, they use 50 centimeter. So that means when you want to check the quality, if it is okay or not okay, please, you cannot see it like this. You have to see it like this distance, minimum 45 centimeter. But this is not a fix. You can discuss with your EMS factory what is the acceptable distance for checking the quality. Some company use 30 centimeters, some company use 50. So this is negotiable. You can talk to your uh, vendor. So this is a very basic techniques to talking about inspection, inspection method. Also, I suggest that you can uh, key in some keyword, something like uh, inspection standard in the Google. You can download a lot of the material, including Sony material. You can download it and check it and uh, prepare some of the specification for yourself. You don't need to just follow, 100% follow some kind of any company, don't need. You can create of your own. And section four is about the portfolios, what we work with our customer and uh, startups before. I work with uh, many crowdfunding team. As here you can see, there are some examples. The first one is Century. They uh, funded from Kickstarter more than more than three, 300,000, no, 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 300,000 US dollars. The, the, this project already shipped out more than 5,000. Uh, the project still work today. Maybe I can show the video to everybody. Oh, sorry. Sorry, maybe later because wireless connection. And this is another example. The team comes from Japan. We also prepare the, the sample you can use later. This is an input device for the user to use this device to by using their gesture input and you can use some kind of game. And this is another device for touching sensor. And this product is uh, created by a very small team. This small company, only three person, but it consists of three countries, including Hong Kong, Singapore, and Japan. And we will deliver the first 1,000 uh, middle of this month. And we prepare to ship another 3,000 next month. And this is uh, another project the Ella just mentioned. This is an immersive technology for a better view. And this is a cooking device. Later, Sam Young will uh, introduce this uh, more detail about this. And also he prepares some uh, delicious food by using this, this device. Everybody can enjoy it later. And Mr. Young will share more of this information to us and uh, about his story how to develop this product. From here is some of the example my company work for startups and crowdfunding team. This is industrial design and mechanical design. Including some uh, IoT device, LED projector, or even we design a, a coffee mug for Starbucks Taiwan. And including some mechanical devices. And this is a submarine. Of course, it's a scale, scale prototype, around 25% smaller than original one. This is a, a project we cooperated with Portugal from Europe. Originally, this idea will be uh, with the ability for two men to dive to the deep sea 
around 300 meters. We have a, a week. We have only a, no. We have only a month to develop this prototype from zero to the product is complete. And this is the also working prototype. This is what I mentioned. The original one is a suitcase, but when uh, the when you you, you needed uh, this suitcase into a three wheel scooter, you just uh, need a small push, and it will turn into a a three wheel scooter. Of course, this is dummy. This is not workable. Uh, when the Art Center College of Design requests me to do it, I have only 17 days, 17 calendar day. I have to finish this job, including using FedEx total to deliver to them. I have only 14 days, but finally we did it. These two prototypes, uh, I cost them, uh, I charge them around 30,000 US dollars. And also my company can do injection and tooling for customers. We do a lot for crowdfunding team and startups. And also we have a very good partner, Ray from MITE. They, the company have uh, so many facility to in charge of a PCB assembly. They have so many SMT facility can do it. So once you just give me your CAD file, uh, no, no, not CAD file. You just give me your Gerbil file and the bomb list, we can do it for you. Even you need 10 sets only, we can do it for you. So it's very flexible for you to produce your first PCB assembly. Actually, in Taiwan, it's very convenient for global uh, staffs to do everything. Because Taiwan actually is a small island. But uh, this is a small island with the ability to do hardware and software integration is very easy for everybody. But if you stay in China, it will take you longer time. When you move from point A to point B, maybe it takes you one time, one day. But one day in Taiwan or in Taipei, you can do many things. This is our expertise, especially for IoT startups team to, uh, to put everything together. Thank you. This is my portfolio today. Thank you.